Hello dear friends, before going to the video, please subscribe our channel for more new videos and information. We had to get another episode with Detective Whiting, didn't we? On NCIS. Los Angeles Season 14 Episode 15, the recurring guest star farewell tour continued. This time, it was the consistently abrasive Whiting. For once, Whiting requested Deke's assistance rather than the other way around. Whiting's unexpected visit to the Deeks slash Bly home saved Rosa from a never-ending game of good parent slash bad parent as she prepared to go out on a not a date. We had to include the obligatory scene of the new parents interrogating their teen daughter while attempting to be gentle. Kensi and Deeks hate being those parents, but did they really have a choice? Whiting's late med arrival may have saved Rosa from her parents' interrogation, but it resulted in her non-date being canceled ostensibly without explanation. That's not cool. Whiting's reputation nearly derailed this case before it even began. On a Saturday, it was delivered to Kilbride by his least favorite agent. Furthermore, as Kilbride pointed out, NCIS had no jurisdiction in an LAPD-related dispute. Whiting, on the other hand, concocted an intriguing theory about her investigation into rogue LAPD cops protecting fentanyl dealers. So those cops had a reason to frame her for murder in order to get her out of the way. Because a suspect APB was on Whiting, Kilbride reluctantly agreed to let Deeks conduct a preliminary investigation into her claims. Except for Deeks, no one on the team was interested in what she was selling. But the more they looked, the more they discovered that contradicted the official LAPD virgin. Why was Roundtree so critical of Whiting? Yes, she repeated the LAPD line, but she also told him about the light punishment that would be meted out to the racist cop who stopped Roundtree and his sister. So you think he'd be more positive toward her when he was forced to babysit her at the boat shed? With Whiting, Roundtree, and Deeks on the LAPD crap list, there weren't many people who could investigate openly. Whiting's caustic nature contributed significantly to this. She admitted that she doesn't care what others think of her. She couldn't be a delicate flower and work in internal affairs at the same time. Nonetheless, she knew exactly what to say to persuade Roundtree to take her out into the field, despite Kilbride's orders. Fatima even agreed to stand in for him, despite knowing better. So what did person of interest Whiting do instead of explaining things to Roundtree? She instructs them to monitor and follow a corrupt narcotics detective. That paid off when he met with a drug-dealing gang member and accepted the payoff. Kilbride was furious when he discovered Roundtree had taken Whiting out, but he relented when he learned of the gang's fentanyl connection. Sam and Deeks were investigating how Whiting's case was unraveling. All of the security cameras near the murder scene had been tampered with, leaving only one piece of evidence to incriminate Whiting. The medical examiner then determined that the cop died two hours before Whiting received the text that set her up. Whiting's hunches seemed to be paying off at that point, didn't they? The gang member Whiting and Roundtree apprehended was a regular source of information, telling them about the gang's mysterious leader, Odin, and the gang's underground fights. Roundtree quickly volunteered Sam to go undercover as a fighter, much to Sam's chagrin. But whether Sam liked it or not, no one else fit the profile. After determining that the man mountain he was fighting was Odin, Kilbride directed the NCIS DEA team to raid the fight club and seize all of the fentanyl. Whiting was able to get out from under the murder charge, but one of the shady cops warned her that she was still in danger. With only a few episodes remaining until the series' conclusion, that is unlikely. There will be far too much else to clean up by that time. Kilbride's past was revealed afterward when he longingly reminisced with Sam about his long career as a boxer. He also stated that he gave up boxing in order to spend more time with his young family, which he has yet to do. The fact that fentanyl was involved in the case made it even more important to him because, in addition to claiming too many sailors, it was one of the drugs with which his son, Alexander, had struggled. On NCIS, Los Angeles Season 14, Episode 13. He apparently had the phone conversation with Alexander that he promised his ex-wife, Elizabeth. When will viewers be able to meet Alexander? At the very least, viewers witnessed the child care chaos inside Kensi and Deeks' home while they were working a case on the weekend. Why were they trying to track down the ever-eccentric Roberta to keep an eye on Rosa? That was before the LAPD detective arrived to look for Deeks. So why not just bring her to the office? and leave her with Agent Castor like everyone else. Rosa is also far more mature than at least one of her parents. Kenzie was kind to want Rosa to enjoy her adolescence. But Rosa has seen so much that nothing would bother her. 
It would be worse if we didn't know what was going on. Watch NCIS. Los Angeles Online to relive Whiting's interactions with NCIS. Were you relieved to see Whiting? Was she treated properly by the team? Do Deeks and Kenzie treat Rosa like a child? Please leave a comment below.